Vision, Azure here, like always. We got Project TL. I saw a part of this. I don't know exactly what this is. Something medieval. It looks kind of like a chivalry, top down almost, uh, but fantasy game, I think. I, let's get in the trailer and we'll go on there. Or we'll base it off that. I don't think. Yeah. Alright, we got some rain. Sounds like some Japanese voice acting. That actually scared me. I was looking in the background. That scared the shit out of me. Son of a bitch. What the shit's going on? It looks badass. Fucking beggars. Is this, is this Jesus? Bahamut? Sieges? Bro, I'm down. Oh, dude, this is badass. Dude, big battles? Oh, hell yeah, man. Switching characters? like some games we've played medieval wise versus like the Final Fantasy people didn't it like that queen right there 
and the weird ass armor guy, it looked like some Final Fantasy shit going on. Like chivalry versus Final Fantasy. There's a game coming out, it's like top down, kinda like this, where uh it's the one with the the gun class and the one where the woman summons that big ice like foot and stuff. See that game looks insane, like it's almost like a Diablo esque uh dungeon crawler type game. This I don't know what the hell this is. This looks like you get to switch between all the people in your company, maybe. Or maybe that was just the special effect of the trailer. They're just kind of moving on to people to people. But that'd be really cool if you could go to different members of the company. I don't know. Project TL. It's looking badass, and I would love to play it, honestly. The story and being able to siege empires, it looks like, and destroying walls. Like, all that interactable destructibility stuff looks really cool. Um, but the other game, and I can't remember the name of it, where you get to pick the different classes, was kind of like... Um, Kind of like Diablo, and there's like the gun class, there's the guy with the big ass sword, and I can't remember what it's called, but that game, that game looks like as far as independent warrior action, looks like it's going to be the best. This looks like it's going to have a great story and a great like army based combat, kind of like uh, Warhammer, but not as restrictive as Warhammer. You get to be an independent person, and maybe command units would be cool too, um, or you're just destroying stuff and then people are just it's you know, automated, but, um, this looks like it takes the best part from the independent character and, like, the big war-based games as well. So, like something like the one I'm talking about with the gun class, but you have something like the Fort Warhammer, uh, um, war, the scale of a war, which makes it fun. You get to be in the war, and maybe hopefully direct the war, but you get to be an independent character as well. That looks pretty fun, and I'm I'm pretty down for that. So, uh, yeah, Project TL. Actually, you know what? I might I might get this man. Unreal Engine Four, man. That's insane for a game like that. For for all those assets about that big is why you get to have an Unreal. You get to have all of those things happening, all those people, all the, the hundred versus hundred, pretty much is CGI, but still, an Unreal. You can do incredible stuff with. Look at um. I think it's Battlegrounds is on Unreal. And there's a lot of other games where you're using some Unreal Engine to do some incredible stuff. When you make a game where it's like this, almost like a top-down, with you can make the scale huge. So it's going to be fun, and this is going to be an epic game. I can't wait. But thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Once again, my name is Azrael. Thanks for hanging out again. Later.